Today I'm flying to the UK because tomorrow I have a very exciting day where I'm testing a 1997 V10 Benetton F1 car. This is also the first vlog style video that I'm making for Driver61 so please let me know what you think about it in the comments below. If I'm still around tomorrow Will we still be just good friends? So here we are at Donington. Uh, it's a little bit damp on the ground, um, but it should dry up a little bit later. It doesn't look like it's gonna rain today, so that's good because we need to have some, some dry testing. Um, so yeah, just going to sign on and, uh, and then go and check the car for the seat belts and make sure everything's fine with the car and the team. So this is the Benetton B197, the F1 car from 1997 that John Alacy and Gerhard Berger drove. It's a V10 and they drove to third in the Constructors' Championship that year. So it's quite a quick car and I think you'll agree it's one of the prettiest cars from that era. So the reason that I'm driving it today is it's for a client of mine who actually has two of these cars and uh, he wants to see which one of the cars is, is the be better for him, the better setup. So I'm going to drive it, see what the setup's like, see how it feels and report back to him on which car he should race next year. just been out for the first session in the car uh, it started to rain a little bit so I did the first installation lap came in the team checked the car everything was fine but man <laughs> it's been a long time since I've driven one of these uh, older F1 cars and they are so much fun they're they're so raw they're so pure but the, the car's so stiff it, it, you really feel like you're driving it it's uh, it's not numb you feel every single bump and you know in these wet conditions when you get on the rubber when you use too much curb, you really know about it, so you have to be super, super careful out there. Then I did a, uh, another four lap run, just to get some heat in those wets, but it wasn't really coming, wasn't much temperature coming in them. And uh, oh, I don't know, I'm, uh, I'm full, full of adrenaline at the moment. So compared to a modern F1 car, this car is much, much simpler. For example, just look at the steering wheel. It's, it's got two buttons and a tiny little dash. We've got a pit limiter button here, really simple, and a radio button here. And then on the dash here, you'll see that it'll just have the water temperature, the oil temperature, and RPM lights across the top. We also just have the two paddles at the back here for up and down the gears when you're out on the circuit. <laughs> We're 
waiting for the water temperature just here to be 55 degrees before we can start the car. And with these Judd uh, V10 F1 engines, you have to preheat the engine, so it means that you have to use a, uh, a heater to pump water around the engine and get it warm before you start it. You can't just start them from cold. So I had a bit of a mad dash to the airport but I'm here now. Last two sessions we waited all day and all day for it to dry out. Went out on wets just before or about 30 minutes before the end of the day and it was starting to, to dry up. There was a dry line coming through, um, but it wasn't quite dry enough. We put some slicks on, um, but there are a few points, red gate in the old hairpin and up at coppice where the circuit just wasn't quite ready and it knocked the temperature out of the, uh, the slicks. Had a few big moments. And it wasn't quite ready, which is such a shame because that was the whole goal of the day was to get a, a benchmark and a little bit of setup in the car with the dry set with the dry setting. It's been six months or nine months or so since I've been in, F in an F1 car, and you, every time you get back in one, you just you kind of forget how quick they are. You get back in, and it's, it's it, it all comes rushing at you. All in all, great day. Um, hopefully, we'll get to go out in it again and, and do some proper dry running. But I guess we'll have to wait till the start of next year um, in the UK to do that. And uh, back on the plane now, and back to Barcelona. One more thing, this is the first time that I've done this kind of vlog type format um, on the Driver61 channel, so please let me know if you do like it and if I should make some more about the more interesting cars that I get to drive. Thanks and goodbye.